Hey, what's up, you love people? Welcome back to another video. And as you've seen in the title down below, yes, we're going to be doing a charger port replacement on a Samsung Galaxy A70. And if you are new and you want to see more educational content like this and some PC how to's and some more tech stuff, then make sure to like, subscribe, turn those notification bells on as we'll be doing these, pumping these out every two weeks on a Wednesday at 7 p.m. And also, you can catch me doing some gaming content every Monday at 7 p.m. as well. With enough said, let's transition on to the replacement. Hey, hello, welcome to the desk. And obviously we've got ourselves a Samsung Galaxy A70. And before we touch any sort of tech or do anything with any sort of tech, we always need to prep ourselves. So today I've got my lucky cat here because it's nice to have some luck by my side. And also we need to make sure everything is right so we don't shock ourselves first it's always nice to dry your hands keep your hands nice and dry because you don't want to get any moisture into the components because doing so can actually cause corrosion and cause a whole nother kettle of fish that you do not need secondly it's always nice to keep yourself grounded because you don't want to carry any shock or charge onto the phone because doing so can cause to blow up your phone or make it not work ever again lucky for me my desk is always wooden so i can keep myself grounded there now we talked about the preparation let's go on to the phone so right here is the galaxy a70 obviously we want to be turning this thing off because you don't want to be working while this thing is on because that will cause a lot of problems obviously i'm going to be putting in my pin off screen i don't want people looking at my phone there you go <laughs> their phone is going off now the phone is off let's talk about the necessary tools that we need in order to pry this bad boy open so you will need a mobile phone opening kit which comes with a sim ejection tool plastic prying tools in order to handle the ribbon cables or any sort of general cables that are necessary or any sort of cables that need to be taken apart you've got yourself a suction cup which is okay it doesn't really need to be used as long as you apply enough heat to this phone and gently pry it open with a guitar pick that i'll show you in a minute um obviously you're going to have yourself a screwdriver set with a set of fillip head screws flat head screws and it's giving me some torque screws so that's really helpful after that it is required to get yourself some guitar picks because you will need these in order to go across the edges on the back cover of the bone and get it to pry it open it's already been a pried open once before so it's going to be a little bit easier i've actually found a little bit of a notch right here where i can get my guitar pick under and pop it up so for starters i have got myself the galaxy a70 charger port replacement it is good to find out what part you need for your phone there's always a little setting in samsung phones where you can go down onto about phone and then check out the part number there and hopefully it matches up with the one that this is for because the back plate is a bit scuffed i thought i had to go on and get myself a new back cover or battery cover so i've got one right here it hopefully it's gonna fit perfectly well and i don't need to do any sort of adjustments to it but this is the exact thing i need and out with the old in with the new Right, so if times do get a little bit tough, I'm having a little bit of a tough time on this side especially, don't be afraid to apply a little bit more heat with your heat gun or a hairdryer just for an extra 30 seconds or so to just loosen up and get it nice and warm again. There you go. It now just wants to glide through. No problems here whatsoever. I'm having a pretty fun time. I'm having a good time. And just a little bit more. Fry and open. There you go. I heard a little pop. wow and look just like that with a simple bit of um elbow grease and a little bit of force there you go you've got the back cover off it's not that hard literally don't be afraid to just give it a little bit of force i know this has been open once before so that's why i had a little bit more aggression than before but god damn they've decided they did a really bad job look at that these are from the guys before they applied some horrible gunk in fact they've done it on top of my screw so i won't be able to actually get any access into there so there's one here there's more gunk down there there's more gunk in the corner in the middle so they've done a really bad job not gonna lie so there is a total of 14 screws just bear aware of that in mind how i'm gonna go over this is i'm gonna be taking all the screws out then i'm gonna take the plastic housing that surrounds the phone out and 
that will allow me to gain access to the bottom but before we even touch all of that it is a definite must to take the sim card out you do not want to be trying to pry any of the housing open while the sim card is in because you will break the sim card tray so right now that the sim card tray has been ejected it is now to get our screwdriver and start working away at these screws there's a total of 14 like i said in the previous clip but i'm just gonna actually screw into this one and try and take it out myself i've been prying at this adhesive for a little bit and it is a bit of a stubborn one so i'll just go straight at it from now to be fair there's no specific order that these screws go back in they're all the same size so as long as you put all the screws all the 14 screws into its right correct holes you've done the job right so now we've got we've just taken out all the screws i put them in the back plate over here we are now going to be taking out the plastic housing that surrounds the hole of the phone so how i'm going to do that is i'm going to actually i think i can actually just get to it with my hands i don't think i need any sort of tool to do this with no done there you go right so weirdly what i've done is i've taken this whole plastic bracket off do not be alarmed i know some of you might be a little bit scared but this is needed to be done in order to access the bottom half of the phone so what i've done is actually i've just done it with my nails they're really small anyway so what i've done is actually just got myself underneath here so you think this is attached to the side you can just kind of get your nail under here pick it away pick it away just gently make your way around obviously i've taken this sim card tray out that's why there's a hole here now like there's a hole right like right here that's why you need to take the sim tray out because you don't want to like budge 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 you don't want to budge pry budge pry take it off and then you do it the wrong way and then you hear a snap and then your sim card tray is busted and then all hell breaks loose so now we're taking the actual housing off i'm only going to put it to the side up here and we're going to be focusing on the bottom half of the phone so look i believe this was some writing here from the previous people that done it i don't know why they've done that it's probably to say what they've replaced and not what date and what time it's weird because when i actually got the screen replaced they came back to me and said you know the charger flex cable is broken and by the looks of it there's no such thing as a charge flex cable you've got your flex cable here that connects power to the top part which in order allows you to make your touch screen work, but has nothing to do with the charge in itself. And the people try to say to me, you know, your charger port's broken, your charger flex cable port is broken. I don't know what mental word is that, but uh, you know, I can see from here that the board just needs replacing. The charge port has kind of gone out of kaput. It's kind of broken. So I need to go and sort that out myself now, right now. Right, so from here, you got yourself three sets of cable well, actually four sets of cables you got your antenna bit down here that you need to unpick you got the side bit which i believe it's i oh, know no, that bit is for your fingerprint reader as you can see up here that is your actual flex cable for the touchscreen to work not for the whole charge port thing I, I don't get that whatsoever and then this i believe connects to the battery itself and for it to charge up and power on right so you see that on here you see where the bronze or the gold parts are there's a little silicon rubber thing around it do not go underneath that just go above that but underneath the gold tab it's the same for same for this one for the flex cable well, that was easy well, that was really nice and easy All right so the first one's done so that one's done there you go that's your flex cable open and then oh, when you get your charger port there you go and then finally your antenna there you go these are quite relatively easy to pry open i know at the start i think because this has been handled before it's a little bit easier but i know beforehand they can probably be stubborn when you first go into it don't be afraid to just give it a bit of wiggle a bit of elbow grease and pop it open that's all you need just be brave be confident and go for it right okay so this board is actually got adhesive underneath it only in the top section here it makes sense because it's the exact same in the new component you see that red tab you have to take it off and then that's the adhesive there that makes sense don't be afraid to get underneath into the actual charge port and pry it, pry it yourself because that is going to be the old one out with the old in with the new etc etc i've already 
tried it so i should be able to just peel it off yep so bob's your uncle there you go it's already been taken out and get a good close look at it make sure the components match up you could do this even before taking it out taking it out make sure the components do match up which they do on my end they match up perfectly well and then i can now replace it with the new one down so i'm being really quiet here just making sure everything fits into place and everything goes back into its slot and then simply the reverse step put everything back together so i'm going to be starting off with the little side cables right here you can't just do it with your finger it doesn't take that much force there you go that one's and there you go you know with the last screw just put into place and with the plastic housing back in its place as well we're going to be putting the new actually we're going to be testing to see if the charge uh charge port works before putting the new adhesive back plate or battery cover on because it's nice to test uh, things out there see if anything's wrong before putting everything back together i know that's the worst case scenario and you don't want anything to go wrong you want everything to go a-okay but it's always 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 good to double check yourself so i'll be back in just one minute perfect back together again because you don't want that to happen that's the last thing you do not want to happen there you go there's our charge symbol right there right so for the test fit it looks to be organized well it looks to be in place i'm gonna get some focus on that there you go so this is before i've taken the green tab off with all the adhesive on it and so far it looks to be perfectly stable it looks to be fine and everything's in its place so what i'm going to do is i'm going to gently take this green tab off what you want to do is hold the sides on its edges so you don't get your fingers all over the adhesive because that will affect the stickiness of it as well and you don't want to be affecting any of that and you want to just gently very gently line it in place and then drop just like so say hi do you want to say hi put your hand in and just wave <laughs> Alright, go now. Love you. Love you. See ya. <laughs> Sorry, that was my little sister. She just came in to say good night. You know, as big brother's door. Right, I believe we've got ourselves a fully working phone again with the new battery cover in place, the new charger port in place. We've now got ourselves a fully functioning phone and if you did manage to get to the end of the video then thank you very much that means a hell of a lot to me if you are new and you do enjoy this video make sure to like subscribe turn those notification bells on you know the good stuff the stuff that gets the channel going obviously if you don't know about my schedule i'll be doing pc and tech videos for educational purposes every two weeks on a wednesday at 7 p.m every monday at 7 p.m i'll be doing gameplay videos and so far i am doing a cyberpunk 2077 let's play series don't forget i'll be streaming every saturday and every sunday at 8 p.m to 11 p.m now i was doing every saturday at 8 p.m but i am going to be introducing sunday streams because you know anything to get more content to you lot and make you lot happy and also myself happy as well and like i said thank you for coming along thank you for watching and i'll see you on saturday's live stream peace